Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. Um, we're just going to switch out this intercooler on the uh, truck so Jimmy can breathe a little cooler. This unit is uh, is a stock one. It's been on the truck since new. And it is badly plugged. I have taken it off and cleaned it, but uh, it's, it's damaged quite a bit. So I'm going to pull it off and replace it with a brand new unit a friend gave me. And if you're listening, uh, thanks, Chris. Much appreciated. And here's the new one. So here's the new one, all spanking new. And it's an all aluminum unit. So uh, with any luck, it will um, add a bit more power and lower the EGTs a few more degrees. So. That's what we're gonna do. It won't take long. It takes about, I'd say, 20 minutes to half an hour to do that. I do run a winter front on this truck and that, that does protect um, most of the intercooler. And I run a screen over it as well now, so try to stop the debris from getting in. But all the damage was done prior to my purchase. I bought the truck, it was five years old. So. Well, she's pretty. I wish they hadn't uh, painted it though. <laughs> uh, paint's a bit of an insulator. I was assuming it was unpainted, but it's painted. But nonetheless, that's got to be an improvement. <clears throat> Definitely. I'm going to get some cool air now. Um, I'll fix a couple of these little guys here and, and that's it. She should be sweet. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> and that's the old unit there. Like I said, I picked away at that, but uh, about 25% of this unit is plugged solid with debris. I just couldn't get it out. Um, so this should be a huge improvement. I think uh, should be very nice, <clears throat> very happy indeed. And it was quick to install. Um, and for those of you with 2008 to 2010 trucks, there it is. It's called Auto Cool 5186N. So, uh, yeah. Very nice indeed. Put the little bug guard down. So all in all, guys, that was a 30-minute uh, a job, 25 to 30 minutes, very, very quick. EGTs on the Detroit are running around 850 to 925.
Winter's about 850, summer 920. So uh, we'll see what it does now with this new intercooler. So this is just one of the many upgrades I plan for the future. I'll run this now and see what it does. Uh, these are, <clears throat> so some of the upgrades I mentioned, that new intercooler, the upgraded turbo, and then these uh, 90cc injectors. These uh, I got as cores. I'm going to uh, send them out to an outfit in California and then have them rebuilt. And I'm going to upgrade them to 9G90s. So that'll be uh, about a 15% uh, yeah, increase. Yeah, so these in are. Uh, again, a step up from those 7A 77s I have in the truck now. And I estimate I'm at about 210, uh, an honest 210 horsepower. So with these, uh, that's about 20, another 20% 20 or so, 20, 22%. Uh, so I should be at my target of... Um, 240 to 250 horse so um, you know and, and not not trying to break it at all yeah about 200 well even 250 an honest 250 horse uh, that's really nice um, so that's what we have planned. I'll, uh, I'll get these sent off. I'll go down to Danville, Washington, send these uh, injectors out to that shop, have them refurbished and upgraded to 9G90s. And that'll give me uh, 98 cc's, close to 98 cc's of fuel. So happy times. So that'll, uh, that'll be the small upgrades. And then an exhaust, I have to finish doing this exhaust pipe on this thing. I think I'm going to try to put a five inch pipe right from the turbo back. But again, I'm busy with other things. This truck has just been driven and I haven't really done anything to it now. Uh, I think I got all the bugs out of it. Uh, transmission shifting really nice. So also I may um, put a uh, cruise control system in it as well. Now that the transmission's in uh, great shape and it's shifting really well with that new tune um, very happy with that so that's the uh, the upgrades coming up for this truck yeah looking forward to that but I have a lot of projects on the go so we'll see when I can get this in here the injectors I, I plan to get those in in the spring and uh, that'll be a big upgrade so really looking forward to that Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.